Section 3.4, Solving Inequalities Using Addition and Subtraction. Here are the rules for solving inequalities with addition and subtraction. First, solve using inverse operations just as you did with equations. All work must be shown on both sides of the inequality and a graph of your solution should be included. Examples, solve and graph. Letter A, m plus 5 is greater than or equal to 10. You need to get the variable by itself, which is the m, so you want to get rid of the plus 5. The inverse operation is to subtract 5 from both sides. That will cancel out the plus 5 and leave you with m is greater than or equal to. You have a positive 10 and a negative 5. They are different signs, so you subtract 10 minus 5 is 5. 10 is the bigger number, so you keep it positive. Your answer is m is greater than or equal to 5. Now to graph it, you need to draw your number line. You need to put 0 on it, and then we'll put 5. You need to draw a circle at the 5, then look at the sign. It is greater than or equal to. Because it can be 5, because it could be equal to it, it's going to be a closed circle. If it is greater than, it is going to the right. So you draw your arrow to the right. So you should have a closed circle on the 5 with an arrow going to the right. Letter B, x minus 9 is less than negative 6. First you need to get the x or the variable by itself, so you need to get rid of the minus 9. The inverse operation is to add 9 to both sides. That cancels out the negative 9 or minus 9 and leaves you with x is less than. You have a negative 6 and a positive 9. They're different signs, so you subtract 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 was the bigger number, so it stays positive. Your answer is x is less than 3. Now draw your number line, draw your 0, and the 3. The circle goes at the 3 and the sign is less than. There is no equal to, so it stays an open circle, and the arrow goes less than or to the left. Your answer is a circle at three that is open and with an arrow going to the left. Letter C. N plus negative four is less than or equal to negative two. First, you need to get rid of the two signs that are together. You have a positive times a negative, so it is a negative. So rewrite the problem as n minus four is less than or equal to negative two. Now we need to get the n by itself by getting rid of the minus four. The inverse operation is to add four to both sides, and that will cancel out the minus four and leave n is less than or equal to. We have a negative two and a positive four. They're different signs, so we subtract. Four minus two is two. Four was the bigger number, so it stays positive, and the answer is n is less than or equal to two. Now draw your number line, draw your zero, and we need the two. We put the circle at the two, since that's the number we're talking about, and if you look at the sign, it is less than or equal to, so since it can be equal to 2, it is a closed circle and you fill in the circle. Then, since it is less than, it goes to the left. Your answer is a closed circle at 2 with an arrow pointing to the left. Letter D. Negative 10 is greater than y minus 4. Don't be confused that the y is on the right side. Let's solve for the minus 4 by adding 4 to both sides. That will leave the y and the greater than sign, and you have a negative 10 and a positive 4. They're different signs, so you subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 is the bigger number, so it stays negative. Now, if we wanted to get the variable on the left side, we would write the y on the left side, but we need to switch around this symbol. So it's no longer going to be greater than, it's going to be less than a negative 6. And you can see if you read it backwards, the y is at the less than side of the sign and then negative 6. Now to draw it, we draw our number line, put our 0, 
put our negative 6. We're going to draw the circle at the negative 6. It is not an equal sign, there is only less than, so it stays an open circle. And then we go less than or to the left. So you'll have a circle at the negative 6 and the arrow going to the left. Now give these a try. Number 1, n minus 8 is greater than negative 10. First we need the n by itself and to get rid of the minus 8, so we do the inverse operation of adding 8 to both sides. That leaves us with n is greater than. We have a negative 10 and a positive 8. They're different signs, so we subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. 10 is the bigger number, so we keep the negative sign. So our answer is n is greater than negative 2. Now we draw the number line, our 0, and a negative 2. We're going to put the circle at the negative 2, since that's the number we're talking about. There is no equal sign, so it stays an open circle. And it is greater than, so it's going to go to the right. Your answer is an open circle at negative 2 and an arrow going to the right. Number 2, n minus negative 6 is less than or equal to 7. First we need to get rid of this double sign here and make it one sign. A negative times a negative is a positive, so it's going to be n plus 6 is less than or equal to 7. Now that that's rewritten, we can get rid of the plus 6 by subtracting 6 to both sides. That leaves n is less than or equal to. Then you have a positive 7 and a negative 6. They're different signs, so you subtract 7 minus 6 is 1. The 7 is the bigger number, so it stays positive. Your answer is n is less than or equal to 1. Now you draw your number line, your 0 and the number 1. You draw your circle at the 1. Because it is equal to, you will fill in the circle and make it a closed circle. Then it is less than, so the arrow goes to the left. You will have a closed circle at 1 with the arrow to the left for your answer. Number 3. 5 is less than d plus 9. Again, we have the variable d on the right side, so we're going to have to make sure we switch that around. But first, let's get rid of the plus 9. The inverse operation is to subtract 9 from both sides, and that leaves us with the d. We still have the less than sign, and we have a positive 5 and a negative 9. They're different signs, so we subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. The 9 is the bigger number, so we keep the negative. You will see that the d is at the open part of the of this symbol. So when we switch it around and put the d on the left hand side, we're going to keep it at the open part or the, like the mouth of the symbol. So now it switches from less than to greater than and we put our negative 4 on the right hand side. So the answer is d is greater than negative 4. Now you draw your number line, your 0, and a negative 4. There is no equal sign, so it stays an open circle on the negative 4, and because it's greater than, it is going to go to your right. Your answer is an open circle at negative 4 and an arrow to the right.